Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I might sound different because I've been sick for a week actually since I did a live stream last Friday I have been down with a really bad cold and I've actually not, not been at work for a week but, but as we say in show business the show must go on so today I have a package here and it has been forwarded to me from uh, Joe over at Joe's Playhouse who has been so kind to uh, let me use his United States postage address to uh, get something shipped to him and sh he shipped it on to me because um, Amazon is not always very kind at shipping stuff outside of the US probably mostly because there is also an Amazon.uk and an Amazon.de for Germany I'm gonna have a second attempt at upgrading my Lenovo X3650 over here uh, with a couple of new CPUs and that's what's in the box I have ordered these and they have just arrived and I've been waiting for this for quite a bit now but before I do that I wanted to do a benchmark of the CPUs of how fast they, the, the two CPUs that are in there right now is and these are the E5-2609 and they are like the entry level of the E5 series version 1 so um, let's go check that I prepared that at the computer okay here is the computer I'm just gonna film the screen here it has two of these uh, E5-2609 and they're uh, two quad cores 2.4 gigahertz and these quad cores, uh, they don't have hyperthreading. You can see down here that hyperthreading is inactive. And that's because the CPU does not have hyperthreading. And that, uh, well, it makes them kind of slow. I did go and look that up uh, here. I have the, from Intel's page. You can see that's the, the processor up here. And down here, it says that it has four cores. And it has four threads over here, so no hyperthreading whatsoever. I did check the performance of this is the performance of the processors. They score about 4,600 each. I did my own testing. I created a virtual machine here. That's going to become my editing machine later. But I thought that I would do a bit of testing. So I gave that machine all eight cores. I have it over here. And I ran this Cinebench R15 on it, and it scores 618 CB. And that's pretty far down. The server that I'm using as my primary server is a bit faster than this one, I know. Probably about 1500, so not very good to be down there. I also ran this performance test, uh, which is out in a new version and it scored uh, the two cpus together scored 8765 uh, you cannot directly add the two cpus from the other test you lose something when two cpus has to work together so i made these benchmarks to uh, so that we can see how much this improves when um, when the testing is done so i'll just uh, make a couple of notes about that because otherwise i'll have long forgotten that so the server is off now, blinking green here, telling me that uh, I have turned it off. It just happened to be that these two CPUs in here are about as fast as the CPUs that I run in my older Lenovo X3650 Model 1s over here. These has two X5450s each and they score just a little bit less than the new one over here so I definitely hope to improve on that actually they also do not have hyperthreading and also have four cores each so um, well I bought a really expensive one of those let's see the package so as mentioned my um, fellow youtuber Unky Joe's Playhouse forwarded this to me and I bought this off eBay and let's just see it's um, fairly well packed. I like this packaging. So if we go down here, we have two CPUs. So everything is as expected so far. 
this. So I bought two E5 2670s. These are 8 cores, 2.6 GHz processors, and they can turbo boost up to, uh, I think, just over 3 GHz, 3.1, maybe. Uh, I really forget. Cool, we're gonna be installing those. For some weird reason, this E52670 is rather cheap compared to a lot of other CPUs. These are the version 1s. If you want the version 2, they suddenly become a lot more expensive. So uh, I uh, cheapened out and I bought the version 1s of these CPUs. And well, I hope to upgrade them at some point later. But I really do need to get more than just 10% more for this to be worth it. So I uh, took the server out, I've disconnected power. It's still connected to the rack, so everything is grounded. Um, so we're gonna take the the coolers off and they have this big lever here. These CPU coolers are meant for 95 watts. That's a bit of a problem because the CPUs that I'm putting in uses 115 watts. Um, but I don't have any for that so I'm gonna start with these and I'm gonna be on the lookout for some new ones. I'm gonna clean this out. So. Uh, the CPUs themselves comes out with two arms that are located one on each side of the CPU and there is like well you can't you can't open this one up because that one is in the way but you can open this one up and then you can open this one up and you can take out the CPU and that is uh, very dirty as well it has seen a lot of cooling compound so I'm gonna take those out and clean them up um, I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna put the other one in uh, right away so that um, so that I don't drop anything and destroys the socket down here so we're gonna take that up there and put that one in and do the same thing with the other processor. I'm gonna wait with removing it until I'm ready with the next one. So with one hand I'm removing the old one and with the other hand putting in the new one like that. The pins on the bottom of these sockets are very delicate so we don't want to break those. There we are and we need some um, cooling compound to put on there. I'm using this very cheap Chinese brand. Uh, links in the description there so and the two coolers has magically cleaned themselves ish so we're putting those back in make sure that gets good good there. So I have um, connected it again. It's blinking the right way. So this is moment of truth. Does it work? Yeah, we have something on the screen. That's always a good thing.
it also comes up with the splash screen I think this is working just fine so uh, well, let's go into the BIOS and check it out okay system information uh, system summary yes we have two CPUs 2.6 gigahertz 8 giga frets per second uh, processor details and cool 8 cores 16 sockets that means the server has now a total of 32 threads awesome and there are the e5 2670 2.6 gigahertz very cool let's uh, boot the system and see how it performs how much more I get out of this this is finally nice okay so it booted and it's okay um, this was a bit of a problem when I booted it the first time it just ended up with a cursor just blinking and it did that forever so I shut it down and I pulled the plugs on it and put those back in and booted it again and same thing just a cursor blinking ding 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 four minutes nothing so um, I went into the computer it was nicer to sit in there and I did a remote session to it and I shut it down I went into the BIOS and I loaded default settings in the BIOS and set up the boot order again and that worked then I was able to boot it um, there was another reboot in that I was in the BIOS a couple of times before this worked but and then it booted and now we have two CPUs Intel Xeon E5 2670s so let's go into the computer and see how the performance is right here is the performance that we could expect for one of these CPUs and as we can see here it uses 115 watts max and it has a turbo speed of 3.3 gigahertz I thought it was 3.0 or 3.1 but it's actually a bit higher than that so that's really awesome and it performs really well so let's uh, do our own testing here is the hypervisor the ESXi host and before I was testing this virtual machines with the total amount which was eight virtual CPUs but to see how much this machine now performs I will have to go in and add all the new cores to that so that should be under CPUs and before 4 was max now we can go up to 16 that's 32 cores that is awesome cool add those and we will power up this beast and try the testing the first test results is um, performance test 9.0 and I get 18,048 compared to the 8,765 I get just about double the speed of that so but let's do the other test this uh, Cinebench one check the CPUs it uh, always looks very fun when you do that 32 cores working on that that's going rather well there we are and we get a result of 1922 compared to 618 so that is at least three times as good a bit a bit more than three times as fast so awesome very nice results I'm very happy with the new CPUs and they are definitely faster than the one that I'm using today so that's awesome I'm gonna end the video here I'm still kind of sick so um, thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day bye bye